Okay. Fortunately, I didn't get that intermediate seal. That sucks. Took all the biom, unfortunately. Stay focused. That's my cue. Put me in there. I will prevail. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. Ugh, battle. I will get the victory. force him to come at me. Nice, Dorothea.
Okay. You are not. Always get. Oh, I meant to kill that one. Fail. Epically. Ferdinand got it. You should be honored. Let's move to the next one. As expected. I have held back.
Okay. Yeah, it worked. I want to get uh, some of the other guys actually leveled up. Another step. This was beneath me. Greatness of... Damn, he hit him with decent magic there. Oh, 
on the last. We'll have anything next week. We'll have to probably rest the first week next month, depending on what it is. I'm going to phase her in the other one. Why, thanks. Impressive. Thanks. I do not like Edelgard as this. Because she does so much damage, I need her to be able to move around the battlefield. This is fascinating. Linhart. Here again, I see. Go away, Hubert. Now is not a good time. Ah, yes. The double line becomes a helix, and its arc... Now is exactly the time. Lady Edelgard requests your presence. Okay. Come. The lecture is about to start. Politely inform her that my research is vastly more important than whatever it is she has to say. While your passion may be admirable, it is sadly misdirected. This matter takes priority. Return to your hobby when your duty is done. Hobby? This research will most certainly prove useful in the future. The Empire requires you to be useful now. I should think you would want the same. 
You have an almost unparalleled intellect, a singular focus, and in truth you have talents that many, including myself, will never have the privilege of possessing. Are you complimenting me, Hubert? That alone deserves to be studied. Let me finish. I haven't an ounce of respect for the cause you have chosen to waste your talents on, which changes frequently, I might add, with no rhyme, reason, or results. Learn to apply yourself to something constructive. You may still have a bright future. That sounds suspiciously as if you're not going to leave me. I just want to live a life doing... That is unacceptable. Her Highness will soon ascend the throne. She is attempting to deal with such noble pri... You have a point. And I under... But I can't do it. I... Pathetic. Damn. The Hubert's just... No fucks given. Petra, industrious as ever, I... Hello, Hubert. Yes, I am trying to be industrious. I must be working hard to improve my position. Right now, it is not a good one. Even accounting for that, your efforts are impressive. I wish a little of you would rub off on certain people here. One troublesome slouch in particular. Rub? I will not be rubbing on anyone. Not literally. I never would have imagined you would adjust so well to life in Fodland. When I first met you, you couldn't understand a single word of the language. You had the look of a cornered animal. So much so, I thought you'd grown up in the wild. I had more youth then, and the experience was... Uh, terrifying. My grandfather ordered me to go to Fodland with suddenness. I was stolen to a strange land filled with strange people. The treatment I was receiving was like... like I was a strange beast. It is unfortunate, but while you were called our guest, you were actually a hostage. You were meant to be insurance that Brigid would not restore its alliance with Dadda and attack us. The Empire required leverage, and after all, you are the Princess of Brigid. It gave me sadness to leave my home. But I have learned much understanding from the outside and meeting you and Lady Edelgard. I admire your spirit in the face of it. <laughs> this guy is... I feel like he is evil as hell. <sighs> Just... Linhart. Lost in... Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever... Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I s Hmm. Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. Arise, Linhart! You're always giving it your all, aren't you? Yes, I am! Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking. Next to you, I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I... You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea. Indeed. I went for... Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I must get some sleep. Being the in noble among nobles. Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! Oh. Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Uh, what? I didn't do anything! No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are! I can tell! Just get it over with! What did I do? You did not do anything wrong! Look, just breathe, will you? Yeah, breathe! You I see that you are struggling. I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding. It seems like something must be troubling you. 
for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. See, I'm breathing out. You fixed me. I go. Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. Just stop it. I'm not interested. Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand. Otherwise, I will have to pick you up and carry you, and neither of us will... What if I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business. Get lost! Ugh. I sprained my wrist. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No, I'm done for. Maybe I should just come back later. <laughs> Far, just who I was hoping to see. I have a tiny little request if you have time to help me. I'm always happy to help. What can I do for you? That is exactly what I was hoping to hear. Would you mind coming along to my room? Your room? Uh, okay. <laughs> this uh, isn't what I uh, had in mind. Uh, uh. Come on, a big, strong guy like you. This is easy. Lift up the cabinet, please. I need to dust behind it. There's still more to do. Why do you care so much about keeping this place clean? It's just a dorm room. Were you raised in a stable? Leaving this place a mess wouldn't be fair to the next person who uses it. In fact, I think once we're done with this room, we should clean up your room as well. Yeah, I don't think so. I have some actual training to do. Oh, come to think of it, I have a date myself. The fella I'm seeing has quite a charming face, rich family, and I assume a tolerable personality. Don't you get tired of spending time with all these guys who have tolerable personalities? Oh, it gets tedious at times. You must listen to them talk, for one thing. But it's important for my future. That's how I see my training. I guess it's pretty much the same thing. I don't know if that's a comparison you really want to make. Why not? Seems about right to me. Sure, I'm a noble, but I'm also a second son. I don't have anything coming to me. Why do you think I'm always training so much? I need to prove myself on the battlefield if I plan on making it anywhere in this world. I know you don't have noble status or wealth, so you're putting in the effort to marry wealth, right? See? Pretty much the same thing. I suppose. It would be nice if everyone saw it that way. Well then, Kaspar, I need to get ready for my date. Shall we both agree to work hard for our futures? Absolutely. I just hope our efforts are worth it. Kaspar's a nice guy. He's a cool dude. Petra, how are you doing? Getting used to life here? I am settled. Everyone shows great kindness. I'm glad to hear it. I was so surprised when you first arrived. A princess, all the- You have my gratitude. But please do not call me princess. You are making my cheeks blush. There's nothing to blush about. You're every little girl's dream of what a princess should be. Anyhow, I suppose it's been a long time since you've been back to Bridget, hasn't it? I hope you aren't homesick. Maybe I do wish for that. But there is no- I suppose you're right. But I'm sorry. I just got to thinking about how hard it must be to live somewhere so... No, it can't be impossible. I'll fix you... Wait, Dorothea. It is the... But your cooking is... What is the word? Horrendous. That is horrendous. Nobody's cooking can be that bad. The thinking is enough for me. Fine, I'll do something. I just want to be sure that you... How about a massage? I have no problems. My body... Oh? Then perhaps I could sing you lullabies. I'm not having. <laughs> She's trying so hard. Don't worry about putting me out. I like helping my friends. Well then, I must be going. But Dorothea, 
is filling my heart full. Okay, I'm a mercenary. A new path. Right, using an axe. Not using swords. Thank you. 